What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Real Tuts GML here, back with another Java tutorial. And today we're actually going to be getting into something a little exciting, and these are variables. Variables are very important in any programming language because, well, they can be used for basically anything within your game and or your program or whatever. They're always used. So let's get into it <clears throat> alright so basically what a variable is is it's something that contains a value so if we said uh, th there are many different types of variables let me start there so there are whole number variables there are decimal variables there are uh, message variables like saying with with text there are true false variables there are a lot of variables out there and you need to know what types you want to use specific that will be more efficient for what you're trying to do. So basically, um, if we wanted a whole number, okay, so if we wanted, say, like, set a value of, we'll just say, for for this tutorial, we'll say x, okay, and, that, and we want that to equal 3, okay, we're going to want that, since that is a whole number, we're going to probably want to put it into an integer, unless we're adding by decimal points or something like that. I know I'm getting a little bit ahead, but just kind of showing you guys that, uh, getting you ready for the future of, of what we'll be doing. So I'm going to create a integer value. So all you have to do is say int, right? And you can see that if you are using Eclipse, that will bold. And after this, we're going to put what we want to call the variable. So I'm just going to say x. This can be anything, right? And we're going to equal it to, we'll say 10. <clears throat> and might I stress the semicolons? Uh, if if you don't have a semicolon after a statement or a line of code, you may get an error. And well, nine times out of ten, you're going to get an error, and you're probably going to want to put a semicolon there because these are needed. And that's to tell Java that it's the end of that line. So basically, int x equals zero. We now have a successful variable, and we can very easily print out our variable onto the screen by instead or onto the console instead of saying hello world just put x and we play the game or a program as you can see down here in console it says 10 so we're giving this a value here so x now we can we can change this to whatever we like so we can say 5 and we run it and now it says 5 so that that's something very useful and that will be very useful within our programs so let me just show you the other types of variables now so we have integers right and let's just say okay I'm just gonna make a list going down we have floats doubles booleans strings uh, I mean we have bytes we have shorts we have longs we have a lot of variables and that may seem like a lot but it's actually very simple uh, so a float and a double are basically decimal points so one point something like that right <clears throat> and we have to give it a name so we'll just say xx and let's put an f and basically what what this f is is it's just saying that it is a float so if you had a double you would need a d so it's kind of confusing. I'll get, I'll get into it later, but you're going to need an F after that. <clears throat> so now if we print out XX, as you can see in the console, we get this. Now notice, though, if I make this an integer, and we get an error because we would need to use a cast system, which I'll get into later. But we can't have an integer be a decimal number. or and It has to be a whole number. So we could say double as well. We need to say D. And we run it, and the same thing occurs. <clears throat> so now we can we can do a Boolean value. So Boolean, we'll call it X, XXX, the no, this is not a naughty movie. <laughs> uh, and we can we can give this a false or true. So these these are very helpful. Uh, and I'll show you why a little bit more on in the later tutorials, but these can be very helpful. So if we say false and we print out that variable, and we run it, it'll say false. So there we go. 
and we can do now a string and we'll just use a for now and this equals and you're going to need quotations and we can say hello world and now in our system dot out that print line all we have to do is press a and it prints out hello world <clears throat> so you can store this value into a variable and basically variables what they're good for is changing them later on or having them be a set value so I'm gonna I'm gonna show how to have modifiers in there later on but this is just some basic variables that we can use so those are gonna be the basics one basic ones that I show today go leave a like go and subscribe next tutorial we're gonna actually be getting into um, doing a little bit more stuff with these variables than just printing them out so I will see you guys next time peace <laughs>